Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today's video we're doing an update on my project pan for 2018. So today's update will not be a complete one. I'm only going to show you products that actually have a measurable difference in photographs because otherwise it's going to be pretty boring. I am using a lot of the other products, but there's just not making a, a noticeable indent in any of them, so there's nothing to show you. So there are a couple things though that I'm definitely getting through and I'm very excited about it and a couple of things that are done. So let's get started. So first up, in things that are done, these two mascaras, my CoverGirl Peacock Flare and my Makeup Forever Excessive Lash, this one is totally dried up. It's been dried up for about, um, I think, two weeks or so. I was just holding onto it until I was able to film this video, um, but it's totally done. Nothing happens. Uh, this one I have been using the brush, the wand from it, in order to separate my lashes when my other mascara is getting clumpy, so I may still continue to keep this particular wand. I'm just going to clean it up, but this also, nothing's coming off on my lashes anymore from the actual mascara, but I do want to keep the wand because it's good for separating and if I have clumps from a different mascara. But these guys are done. I'm throwing them in the garbage and we're going to add some new products to the list instead. Something else that I finally used up is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. This is finally to the point where I no longer get a line anymore. It's just not coming out. This lasted a really, really long time and I really love this as a brown eyeliner. I think it's great. I would pick up another one of these. I'm going to wait till I get a gift card but or there's a good sale like on the Kat Von D website because uh, this is still kind of a pricey eyeliner and I have a lot of eyeliner in my collection. But I did really like it. It's a really good brown eyeliner and so I would get it again. The two mascaras that I was using, I wouldn't buy the Peacock Flare again. I didn't think it was particularly good as a mascara. Uh, the Excessive Lash is nice, but if I get a sample of it, I'm happy to use it. But I'm not going to specifically draw that one out because I have so much mascara in the collection as it is. And the three products I'm going to be adding to the project pan, because I'm just going to keep rolling them in because I need to keep using stuff up. First will be this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm really bad about remembering to use these. Uh, this one is about, uh, it's like right here is where the line is. I'm going to draw a pencil on that so I can keep track of it for next time so I can see how much of this has gone down. Uh, I do use it when I remember to bring it with me, so I'm going to just make a point of putting it in my travel bag and get this into the rotation. For eyeliner, I'm going to be pulling in this Fenty Beauty. This is the two-in-one glue release eyeliner. This is the shade Alien Bay. I really enjoyed these. I picked them up during the holiday collection. However, um, I can tell already that they're going to start getting clumpy if I don't use them up soon because I think right now, I don't even know that it has, it actually doesn't have like a date on there, but I'm assuming within a year of purchasing this, I should probably not be keeping this just because of, you know, the way it's made and how thick it is. So as we can see right now, this is where the line is on the Fenty. So this is how much I've used so far, because I have been using it, just not as fast as I think I need to, because if I want to finish this before it starts getting really gross and not usable anymore, I've really got to get moving on it. So this is getting added into the collection as well. And for mascara, I'm taking the Lancome Definisils Mascara. This is one that's just been sitting in my drawer waiting for me to get around to using it, because I don't think I've ever actually used this one, or if I have, I don't remember at all whether I liked it. So, and this is a full size too. So I'm going to try to use this guy up. I think I got this in some sort of kit that like my mom and I split, like a Lancome thing. So I just want to use it up, and it's a big one, so uh, I'm going to put this in my purse and try to carry this one around and use this as much as possible. Moving on, we're going to take a look at the products otherwise that have enough of a dent in them that you can tell I've been using them. First, we're going to be taking a look at the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This is a mini palette. This is a 500 point perk. I'm getting really close to hitting pan on champagne truffle. I think you can see the divot there. Um, I do use this all of the time. Just uh, It doesn't use up a lot at a time because you know I don't have a massive amount of space over my eyes in order to use this eyeshadow. I do use the bronzer, but again, I've been using this bronzer for a while and there's just no change. I think Champagne Truffle I'm the closest to hitting pan on, and that's mostly just because I use a really tiny little brush in order to get the inner corner, and so that's how I'm getting the divot. But this actually, I do feel like there's visible progress on it. Also visible progress is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This is in the shade Parte. You can see lots of pan there. Uh, now this did break once and I already had to repress it, but I've still been using it and I'm getting a lot of use out of it. I'm a little tired of this blush just because I want to use other stuff, so I'm just trying to work through this as much as possible, but look at that. Nice and shiny in there. It's definitely getting used. Also with a notable amount coming out is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Opal. This is a mini size. You can see that I've definitely taken a good chunk out of that. This one had also broken and I would repressed it, but I'm still using it and I've slowly been working away at the bottom of it. So um, this one, I don't know how many more travel events is going to survive because I think if it gets hit again, it, the repress is going to completely shatter again. So I'm just going to use this until it breaks again and then I'm going to toss it out. 
Next up is one of my mini sizes of perfume. This is the Kat Von D uh, Sinner Perfume. So the last time we were up here at the top skulls, and now we're down at the bottom skull. So I've almost used this up. I really do like this perfume a lot. I've just been really forgetful in wearing perfume at all. So I do intend to use this up within the next couple of weeks. And then I'll move on to the other perfume, which is the Clementine California that I've kind of been neglecting. And last but not least, in terms of actual progress, would be my Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. So as you can see here, it's almost gone. I'm very close, very, very, very close to the bottom here. Um, previously, I think it was like three quarters of the way and it's slowly creeping down. Um, another more, another like three or four of my hot outdoor performance days will probably take the rest of this because I have to use so much powder in order to keep my face from just melting off completely. Um, this gets used a ton. I am looking forward to trying a new setting powder. I do think this one is good. Uh, I'm just a little tired of using it. Again, just because it's the same thing all the time and I have other stuff. I have sample sizes of like Allura Mercier I really want to try. So I'm just waiting for that to be available to me, but I would just need to use this guy up first. And so there we go, there is my progress on my project pan for 2018. I was trying to do 18 products in the year, and I'm just gonna keep rolling stuff in if I actually use something up. But I think this has been really good. It's been really helpful to see what I'm actually using and what I'm not. I'm also wearing a full face of like the makeup that I've been using, some of the stuff that doesn't really have a noticeable dent in it. I have decided with the Huda Beauty Summer Obsessions Highlighter Palette, I'm gonna pop out the powder highlighters and put them in a separate palette, and the cream one is starting to like sort of clump up a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be using that anymore but I do want to pop those other ones out so those I am gonna keep but it's no longer to be in the same packaging the next time you see it anyway thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying the content on this channel please subscribe If you've got a suggestion for a video you'd like to see me do please put that in the comments down below I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you soon bye